Sports. It took me about a week of sneaking around before I could unload the Pittsburgh stuff, but when I did, it was a real score. I, I started using Sandy's place to mix the stuff, and even with Sandy snorting more than she mixed, I could see that this was a really good business. I, I made $12,000 in my second week. I had a down payment on my house, and things were really rolling. Uh, all I had to do was every once in a while was tell Sandy that I loved her. But it was perfect, I'm telling you. As long as I kept getting this stuff from Pittsburgh, I knew Polly would never find out. Within a couple of weeks, it got to be so big, I needed some help. So I got Jimmy and Tommy to come in with me. It's fucking great place. Conway! A casino boss and his wife were killed. The Bulls questioned Nikki. A dealer from the Sirocco, they questioned Nikki. A bunch of stool pigeons wound up in the trunks of their cars, they questioned Nikki. A lawyer. They questioned Nikki. And when some guys who didn't pay their Shylocks began disappearing, Nikki's name was in every one of those newspapers. Nikki was questioned in two dozen murders, but they always had to let him go. There were never any witnesses. The coppers blamed me for everything that went wrong out here. And I mean every little fucking thing, too. Watch yourself. You get run over there. If a guy fucking tripped over a fucking banana peel, they'd bring me in for it. Come on, that's enough. Be nice, huh? Be nice. And the bosses were no better. I mean, they complained day and night because things don't run smooth. Well, in my line of work, things don't run so smooth. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm dealing with degenerate animals out here. But the bosses, what do they give a fuck? They're sitting on their asses drinking an azette. Meanwhile, I'm the guy in the trenches. Fucking bosses. They think it's a fucking free lunch out here. It's a funny thing. I, I'm a, it put hate in your heart. The Knights of Columbus were real headbreakers, true guineas. They took over their piece of the city. 20 years after an Irishman couldn't get a fucking job, we had the presidency. May rest in peace. That's what the niggas don't realize. If I got one thing against the black chappies, it's this. No one gives it to you. You have to take it. down here again for this. Won't happen again, Mr. C. Carmen's developing into a fine young lady. You should be proud. You get your period yet, Carmen? Johnny Sullivan's kid? You live with your grandmother? Yeah. To you, O oh Lord, we commend the soul of Alphonsus, your servant. In the sight of this world, he is now dead. Forgive whatever sins he committed through human weakness. Amen. Church wants you in your place. Kneel, stand, kneel, stand. If you go for that sort of thing, I don't know what to do for you. Man makes his own way. No one gives it to you. Have to take it. Non serviam. James Joyce. Smart, Colin. Guineas from the north end down Providence try to tell me what to do. And uh, something maybe happened to him. Uh, maybe, uh, like that. <laughs> Jeez, she fell funny. Francis, you really should see somebody. 
When you decide to be something, you can be it. That's what they don't tell you in the church. You to keep things on an even keel, right? Right? We talked about that. Morning. Good morning. Want a French donut? Yeah. Hey, can I look at it? Yeah, sure. All right, we're not having this out. What? Hey, you don't see any pictures of where I came from. Look, I respect who you are. Just, you know, not in the living room. We might have company. Company? Yeah, company. Hey, now why do you work for the state? Why not? You do. No, what you do, the degrees and all, everything you got, you're hot shit. Yeah. <laughs> so why do you make as much as a guidance counselor? Because I believe in public service. So now you're gonna fuck with me? <laughs> now you're gonna be ridiculous, huh? <laughs> uh, no, don't start with me. Hey. Don't say. <laughs> ah, fuck with the fucking phone. Stop it. The phone. Then forget huh? the phone. Uh, no, get it. Answer it. Answer it. This is this is your first phone call in the new house. You live here now. You're a resident. Mayor Sullivan's office. Who calling on the phone right now? Oh my God, I'm sorry. What? I think it's a guy with, uh, it's like a, can a cancer guy. Hello? What the fuck is it with you and your phone? Huh? Um, something for work. Hey, um, nothing, nothing, nothing. It went dead. I don't know. I, I guess. Was that that shrink cunt that answered the phone? Remember I told you that yeah, we were gonna, she was gonna move in? Yeah. She moved in. You better get organized. Quick.